All right, guys. Hey, Derek Goff here again. Uh, I've got another uh, blending nature tutorial. Uh, finally, part three. Uh, been trying to get to this thing, and uh, it's just been uh, a little crazy around here lately. So I've decided to kind of step away from our large overall scale uh, scene, um, which you obviously could continue on if you'd like with uh, with um, this tutorial showing you how to do some grass and small plants, but. Uh, for time's sake, I'm going to focus more on just uh, a little bit smaller scene, a little simpler setup. So let's get straight into Blender. I've already got the scene open here with the default cube. I'm going to get rid of that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to append and link uh, a grass setup that I've got. And I'll show you that more. And then also I'm going to append um, a little white flower bush that I have. In that there too. So now if I come on to this uh, far this top right, I don't know what that'd be, layer 10. Um, that's where I pretty much put all of my appended or linked uh, objects. You can see I've got grass here and I've got the flower here. You can kind of get a look at that. Um, use that with the uh, sam uh, sapling add-on and then I uh, uh, just created leaves and used a particle system to put the leaves on. So, But right now I have it all as one mesh. And uh, same with the grass here. Uh, these are all just mesh objects. I'll turn on texture. So you can kind of see the texture I've got on there. It's just real simple. I kind of did a little photoshopping, but it's got kind of a lighter tip on it, a darker base. And then I've got kind of the, I don't know what you call those, veins in a grass leaf. Anyway, um, you know, looking at this from different angles, You can see how much variation and rotation I have. They're all at their zero zero point here. Or their reference point is at the base of them. Um, and then from the top view. What I did find though recently is I had these two straight and I ended up with something that looked kind of like daggers. So uh, to make the grass look a little softer, I actually made way more effort towards really curving the grass. And I think that made it look way softer. But you can see here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 base mesh is, wow, um, that uh, I'm going to be using as a group um, in my particle system. So, with all that said, uh, just save time. I'm not going to model all that here, obviously, but that you would have to model. I strongly suggest uh, creating some type of a, uh, uh, a database, which uh, I have. Um, I've got a model library, and in here I've got all of these items here are all set up to be uh, appended or linked to uh, as group objects. And I've also uh, um, basically uh, packed the external data so the textures and everything are packed into them so when I go between home or office or whatever, um, I can uh, still use them and not need to have the textures. Anyway, whew, a lot of talk there. Let's get straight to it. So we do a mesh. I'm going to do a plane. I'm also going to come into front view here. I'm going to do hit Control Alt Zero. That's going to bring my camera in. Bring this up here. Actually, let's just leave that where that is. Let's scale this. Key here is is what the camera can't see. We don't need. So I'm going to scale it up a little bit so that these points here are outside, and then I'm going to scale up my back like this. Go into top view. Looks kind of small to me, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. You can see that we're way outside what we need again, so bring that in like that. That'll give me a little bit of movement or movability um, with the camera. Throw in a few loops here. And I'm just going to subdivide it. Whoa. Subdivide, oh, I don't know, 30 times. Does that look like too much? How about, about 15 times? That should be plenty. Okay, and the reason I'm doing this is I'm going to just randomly pick a few points out here. Not that one.
kind of create a little bit of a ridge. I'm going to turn on my proportional editing. G, Z, scale it up a little bit, something like that. And just randomly going to drag these down. So what I'm going for is kind of an endless edge. See, that's still kind of visible. Okay, and maybe grab a few more in here. That's a little better. Okay, yeah, I think that'll work. Set it to smooth. Okay, so now we've got our ground. Let's go ahead and throw a quick material on here. Let's call it ground. And I'm going to set the color to... Some people set it to black. I actually like to set it to a, a similar but a darker shade of the same color, a little bit less saturated, of the grass. I think this hides even better than just black, but that's just me. Something like that. I don't want any specularity on it. I'm going to change this to the arena air. Which I'm five, just to rough it up a little bit. And I think that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and go into here. Let's just turn on ambient and environmental. Um, do sky color. I'm going to make this 0.4 and I'm going to change this to 0.5. Okay, continuing on. So we've got our ground texture set up here. Uh, what else? Lighting. Okay, so let's change the uh, light to sun. I'm going to set it to 3. I'm going to give it a little bit of yellow here. Just something like that. Turn sky on. Um, classic's a little bit pink. Or, sorry, well, that looks better. Um, to uh, shrink up that, something like that. That's fine. And uh, I'm not going to do atmosphere on this one because we're looking at kind of a top of a hill, a uh, little bit of distance there, but nothing major. So let's keep moving uh, back to the surface here. Okay, now I've got my objects in on layer 10. So I'm going to create a particle system. The first one I'm going to do is the grass. Now, I have in the past done two different sets of grass particles, one with a longer blade, one with the shorter blades. For this tutorial, I'm just going to do the one, but basically you would just create another system, um, call it grass tall, um, and you would use different uh, weight painting, which I'm going to get to in just a second. We're going to go hair, advanced. For now, let's just change this to 100 so it's easy to see what's going on. Change the... Uh, well, let's not even mess with the size yet. Let's just go straight down and go to group. Pick the grass. Okay. So right off the bat, you see we've got grass. I'm going to also change this to pick random because that will help. Uh, don't pick either global rotation. We've got it already set up to be what we want it to be as far as um, orientation to the surface. It's obviously way too big, so let's go 0 0.05. See, yeah, it looks like that's going to be pretty good. I might increase this to maybe like 500 so we can kind of see at least what's going on. You kind of see it's fallen in rows, and we don't like that. So I'm going to do a random distribution. I like that a lot better. Uh, you can also get rid of like even distribution. You can play around with random, no random. Uh, you know, it, it really, it's just to your taste. Okay. Um, and the other thing I usually play with is the phase and the amount of random. To me this this is basically, I don't know how this is really set up, but when you change this to full randomized rotation it doesn't do anything. If you play with the phase and with the uh, the random rotation phase you can see that the blades rotate separately from each other. They're not all rotating the same so um, I play with that a little bit and I usually like that. Uh, we're going to do some children interpolated. And this is another thing where to get some variation in height, I usually play around with this and I'll change this to like maybe 0.4. Um, as far as I can tell, this is the number of child particles that are affected by changing the length to like something like 0.7. So now you can just see real quick already on a ridge line here, we've got some nice variation and that looks a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to 
turn that off of my view for a second. I'm going to go to top view and we're going to go into weight paint mode. Okay, so this is kind of where the magic happens as far as the number of particles you need. Um, to minimize that, if you do denser near the camera, obviously you're, you're better off. Um, so it kind of goes blue, green, yellow, orange, red. Uh, green being the uh, blue being the weakest and uh, uh, red being the strongest. So what I'd like to do is have blue way out here, kind of, and red way up here. So if I just um, start with a pretty big brush, and this is how I normally do this. I do like that, increase the brush size, do it again, increase the brush size, do it again, do it again. So now I've got a nice, smooth kind of transition there. Um, probably will actually turn the strength down and maybe do one more like that. So now when I look at this and the red, it, it, that, that should be fine actually, that should be okay. So if we go back into, uh, oh and before that, if you click on the, uh, the object data, this is where the vertex group shows up. And So this one here we want to call density, actually, grass. Density. We want to do a new one. It's going to change it back to blue. This one I'd like to do uh, for my flower bushes. So in this case, we're going to go with a much smaller brush, even smaller than that. Increase the strength. Let me see what that looks like. Okay, increase strength. Okay. Now from this view. I'm going to just target a few spots that I'd like to see the flowers make it to. Um, something like that. And it's going to be really blown out. And that probably wasn't the best way to do that. Er, let's just kind of feel this out and just see what we can get here on our freehanding this, I guess. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, feels pretty good. Not too shabby. Alright, so again like this, a little bit more here. Flowers, uh, at least in this area of the world, tend to grow kind of in clumps because they migrate naturally unless they're planted, so not too much variation um, in the plants themselves, but um, just kind of in groups, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to call this one flower group. Okay. Now we go back into object mode, and we can turn back on our grass for now, and then go back into particle settings, and this is a cool part. Uh, this is where I select density, and I go grass density. Now you can kind of just see, I know it's a little bit hard to see, but you can kind of see it's thinner out here, and obviously more dense up front. Oh, and this happens sometimes too, not a big deal. Grass is all laying down, just click rotation. I don't know what that is, some kind of bug. I'm kind of glad that happened. If anybody knows the solution, please let me know. All right, so now we've got a little bit denser up here, a little thinner back there. That looks good. Uh, children is 100. Let's maybe make that 150. I don't know, something like that. And we're going to add an additional particle system. We're going to call this flower bush. Just fixing a few things here. Let's go back to this. Okay, uh, we want to do hair again. It's going to get crazy like that. Let's change this to 100 and go advanced. And also do random. And those are fine. And then we come all the way down to here. Click group for display. Pick flower bush. Now you see how my flowers are laying on their side. That just means that the rotation of my object is off. Not a big deal. I can change that pretty easily. Um, and also for density on this, we want to do flower group. So you can see now we've got it grouped into our uh, areas. Let's take this down to like 50 even. And based on the grass scale, I think that the flowers need to be bigger. So let's go 0.08. Uh, it's going to be bigger than that. 
Let's do point one two. That might be too much. Point one, randomized size. Too much. Something like that. I think we still got way too many in here. Maybe more like thirty. Okay, cool. All right. So to uh, get that rotated the way we need, we select the object. I'm going to go into side view tab and R. Oh, turn off proportional editing. R. 90. Okay, now you can see the reference point is right there, so we need to reline this back up with the base to make it work right. So, just, oops, something close is fine. Top view, see off there again. Okay, now if we just go back in the first layer, all of a sudden there we go. And uh, based on my surface and stuff here these look way too big and I think maybe the grass is even too big so this is kind of the part of the deal where you just gotta play around these should be more like 0 0.07 maybe even smaller 0 0.04 and the grass needs to be smaller Alright, uh, that seems pretty good to me. Um, I think I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. Just bring it down here some. And what else? Uh, of course you can drop in a sky background and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. That's pretty easy stuff to do. I'll take this a little bit. And we got that color set up, yes. Okay, um, I guess now it's time for a test render. So I'm going to hit render and I'm going to pause it and I will be right back with you guys. Okay, back. Sorry about that. Uh, um, after a few renders, uh, like I said, you kind of got to play with these things. But after a few renders, um, this is kind of what I got here. Uh, you can see the grass looks nice and fluffy. Uh, might be a tiny bit thin and it might be a tiny bit long still but uh, I think it looks pretty good um, we're getting some nice uh, spec flares and things like that on here and and uh, you do want some specularity on that grass because real grass does have a shine to it so um, but you can adjust that that was all set up on my material for the grass blades really simple stuff um, one thing I do notice and this is something with a lot of vegetation that you have to kind of I guess play with or, or depending on your scene work with but uh, the leaves on my flowers here are uh, kind of a different tone than my grass. And I, I tend to try to make things match a little bit better because it looks more natural. So right now I would say that these leaves look like they have too much blue in them and I probably would add a little bit of green to the texture just using the, uh, um, just using the, the texture color settings over here to, to the image that I have for the leaves. But um, other than that, uh, it's a pretty clean scene. Um, Nothing spectacular, but I mean, like I said, the real magic comes with the uh, the weight painting, and, and the, the different things you can do with weight painting is pretty impressive. Um, for variation in the plant height here, we could have done uh, a weight painted um, um, uh, kind of a, a vertex group for height um, as well as density. So um, that's something I do a lot of times too also, uh, depending on the scene, but for grass you can do... Uh, some really good variation in heights and get, get some real unevenness but uh, I think for this scene we're looking at kind of just a big grass field and uh, I don't know it looks, looks pretty good like I said it's simple but uh, but I guess effective at getting the point across so I hope that uh, you guys got something out of this um, you know learned a little something about instancing um, you know this is one of my favorite things blenders really evolved at because it gives you so much possibility uh, for example, this this scene right here is what is that? Three three point six million faces, and it rendered in two minutes. So to me, that's pretty impressive, and that's also at uh, 1920 by 1080 with uh, uh, set on 11 for anti-analyzing, and I've got ambient occlusion and all that stuff on. So 
A um, few other things you could do. You could play with the uh, sun and give some soft shadows. But um, regardless, I, I think uh, that's still pretty impressive. If you did do alpha mapping on the leaves of the uh, plants, uh, what I find happens is you get issues with depth of field and you also have um, problems with mist or fog. Um, and it also takes a long time to render. I don't know why. It's because you have to set everything to receive transparent shadows and uh, that just seems to just push the render times out the roof. So um, again, you know, three minutes, not too bad for 3.5 million faces. Um, there might be a few things we could do to optimize a little bit better. The grass might be a little bit more detailed than necessary. But um, yeah. So uh, with that, I hope this was beneficial again. And, uh, you know, please comment or uh, ask any questions you might have. And uh, we'll continue from here with probably um, rocks, um, debris, things like that um, to kind of fill, fill a scene in. So now that we've got our some of our plants and uh, and maybe even some trees too, I have kind of a method I do for trees that's been working really well for me. So uh, happy blending, guys, and uh, see you later.